Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to start and stop or enable or disable extended events session in SQL Server. In this video, we'll be learning how to navigate to extended events in SQL Server and uh, how to disable uh, or enable extended events using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and how to enable or disable or start and stop extended event session using T-SQL script. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is my um, SQL Server Management Studio right here, and I'm connected with Dynamics AX Dev SQL Test. This is my SQL Test is my SQL Server instance. So in order to navigate to extended events, you need to open uh, Management tab right here. And once you open the Management tab, you will see Extended Events, and all the session that you have created or it was created, you will see it right here. So um, in order to first graphical look of uh, uh, any se extended event session, whether they are enabled or disabled, if you see a red sign right here, red arrow uh, pointing downward, that means that uh, uh, that particular session is disabled. And uh, if you don't see an arrow and look at this a little bit play sign right here, then it means it's enabled. So uh, in order to enable um, or start uh, s extended event session using SQL Server Management Studio graphical user interface, you need to right click on the session and you will get an option start session. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start session. Well, let's uh, go ahead and refresh that. It says that uh, it's already started. So yes, it was already started. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that. We're gonna go ahead and right click and stop session. And as you can see that it's stopped. And now we're gonna go ahead and right click the same thing and start the session. As you can see that little bit arrow up here is changed. So uh, once the extended uh, session is started, then it's gonna go ahead and start uh, capturing all the events that you have defined in your package right here. But keep in mind that if your extended event is stopped or disabled, that is not gonna capture anything. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you right here. So let's go ahead and do the same thing using our T-SQL script. So I'm going to go ahead and load our T-SQL script right here. The first up here is says alters event session stop, uh, stop if it is it, let's go ahead and refresh this so it started right now the database event that is our event right here if in order to stop that you need to run this query alter event session and session name right here on the server and state you need to put it stop so we're gonna go ahead and run this particular query to stop the session and command completed successfully. Let's go ahead and refresh our sessions. And as you can see that it's disabled. And let's go ahead and enable it using T-SQL script. We're gonna go ahead and select that, alter event session database, uh, session name, database event on server and state is start. So we're gonna go ahead and start this. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And as you can see, it started. So basically, this is how you um, uh, start or enable disable extended event session in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. And I hope this video helps.